an injury and late replacement has given an upcoming main event a massive facelift. Welcome into ESPN's MMA Live Extra. I'm Phil Murphy. Junior Dos Santos, former champ, number three in the ESPN heavyweight rankings, is out of his fight against Stipe Miocic, and Fabio Maldonado is in. ESPN MMA writer Brett Okamoto has more on the story. Brett, before we get to the new May 31st main event, what happened to Dos Santos? Well, Dos Santos injured his hand. And a lot of times in combat sports, you know, that, that can happen, especially a guy like Dos Santos who boxes. You know, uh, that, that is his uh, primary primary skill in the octagon. He's, he's looking to land left hooks, straight right hands, and, and when you're, you're practicing that over and over again for a big fight, you can suffer a hand injury. So it's, uh, it's not ideal, but of course, by any means for Dos Santos as he was looking to come uh, off and rebound from that really one-sided loss to Cain Velasquez at UFC 166, but he's going to have to wait a little longer. As we alluded to, he was supposed to headline this main event May 31st against Stipe Miocic. Now it's going to be Fabio Maldonado. Brett, what were your initial impressions of Maldonado against Miocic? Uh, well, I think it's very courageous of Maldonado to step up, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really one of the only options I think the UFC had. Maldonado was born in Sao Paulo where the fight was being held. Um, so you, you try and, and, and keep that live event together by putting in a Brazilian who can draw uh, and bring some uh, some fans and put butts in the seats. But in terms of the actual fight, it is a nightmare matchup for Maldonado. He's a guy who actually considered moving to middle eight uh, at one point. He is a, a natural 205-er. He's now going to be moving up to fight Stephen Miocic at heavyweight. Miocic is a, is a good athlete. He's a good boxer. You know, Maldonado, typically he wins fights because he's just tough, and he, uh, he lands a lot of body punches. He throws a lot of volume punching. That's not really going... Uh, to bother Miocic, who is a great boxer himself. He's also a great wrestler, so he can put this fight on the ground, I believe, anytime he wants to do it. So uh, credit Maldonado for stepping up and putting a three-fight win streak on the line, but this is a uh, this is a really tough fight for him, uh, even though it's in Sao Paulo. Brett, you mentioned the limited options for the UFC outside of Maldonado. If you look at the UFC rankings beyond Cain Velasquez and Fabricio Verdum, who fight for the title in November, a lot of these guys towards the top are coming off losses, if not suspended or injured. How would you categorize the state of the heavyweight division at large? Uh, not very good right now, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's a little bare bones, especially with, uh, you know, when you get past Cain Velasquez, who is a great champion. Uh, then you got Fabrizio Verdum, who is a worthy challenger. Junior Dos Santos, even though he did lose badly to Velasquez in his last fight, he's a good fighter. But once you move beyond that, there is a gap. There is no doubt about it. Travis Brown is ranked up there, but he was just uh, completely dominated by, by Fabricio Verdum. you got guys like Josh Barnett, uh, Mark Hunt, Frank Mears in the top ten. All these guys seem to be at the tail end of their careers, not in the prime of their careers. So uh, the UFC heavyweight division could, could use some new blood. There is no doubt about it. But, uh, you know, there's not a lot that they can do. you just got to hope that, that these bigger guys who are athletes are going to become interested in mixed martial arts and, and sort of infuse that, that division because it is open right now. Great opportunity then for Miocic and Maldonado, May 31st. For more on this story or other breaking MMA news, head over to ESPN.com slash MMA. For Brett Okamoto, I'm Phil Murphy. Thanks for watching.